Hi there, this is Bob from Insidium. In today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be doing a very dynamic particle simulation using Nexus. We're going to colour our particles using a random field. That's going to animate. And then we're going to use those colour values to drive this really cool fluid sim where particles will melt, then they'll solidify, then they'll melt again. It's a really nice technique. So let's get that clock started and we'll begin. In our scene, we have this plane primitive. It's a thousand by a thousand. It's got an XP collider tag on, friction 20, bounce zero. Our emitter in the object tab, we've chosen a cylinder emitter shape. You can choose any shape that you want. Cylinder's 25 radius, 50 height. In the emission tab, we're in shot, hexagonal, speed of zero, radius of one. And that gives us this shot of particles. So let's bring in some movement here. We're going to bring in an NX wind modifier and we're going to rotate this round. So we're going to be blowing them in this direction. We'll just make the plane invisible and we can just switch off visible in editor. We don't need to look at that. And then the mode, let's put it on Von Karman. We're going to put the wind strength up to say 250. And in the turbulence, I'm just going to switch the wind turbulence off for now. So now if we hit play, all these particles are being blown in that direction. Cool. We need some color in this. We're going to be driving the simulation using particle color. So let's bring in an NX color and we're going to use a gradient by parameter. We're going to do this in grayscale. So let's just take off all these knots and just remove all of this color. There we go. And we want to map it to a field. So we go to the fields tab to choose the field we want to use. We're going to use a random field. And I'm just going to switch off that wind for a minute, hit play. And now our particles are being colored depending on their position within that field, black and white. Brilliant. Let's go to the random field and let's go to the field tab. Now you'll get loads of different looks for this simulation once everything's set up just by changing the noise type. It's really cool. For now, we'll leave it on the default pearl in. We're going to put the scale up to 500 and we're going to add some animation speed, maybe 25%. And now we can see, look, that as that noise animates, our particles change their color. Very good. We can adjust the contrast here by going to the remapping tab, going to the contour mode curve, and then we can just add a bit of contrast to this curve. There we go. Just makes it a little bit more obvious. Cool. So now what we want to do is we want to map the strength of our wind to the color brightness of these particles. The white ones want full strength, the black ones went, uh, want no wind strength. So we do that, let's go to the wind, switch it on. We do that by data mapping. So let's go to the mapping tab of our wind modifier. We're going to add a color brightness map and we want to map it to the wind strength. Yep, that's right. Map it to color brightness. Range min is zero, which is black. Range max one is white. So what our little graph says is on the X axis, we've got that black, black to white, zero to one. And the Y axis is the wind strength from zero wind strength to full wind strength. So this spline here, let's just pull this handle out. It's saying black particles have no wind strength. And as they get uh, lighter, they gradually get more and more wind strength. And then when they're white, they get full wind strength. So now when we hit play, we should see that the white ones, yep, look, it's affected by the wind way more than the black ones. Perfect. Let's get some more um, uh, forces in our scene now. We need a gravity in here. We'll bring in a gravity. And in the object tab, we'll switch off visible and editor. And let's put the strength down to 200. We also want the particles to interact with each other. We need a fluid solve to do that nicely. Let's bring in an NX fluids. And we're going to leave it in default. Let's just put the sub steps up to five. OK, so now when we hit play, you're going to see that the effect is almost working. We are almost getting that cool cooling and ridges as the particles um, are turned black by that noise. But we need to exaggerate this to get some really nice ridges in here. And we're going to do that by adjusting the speed of the particle. So let's bring in an NX speed mod. We're going to put this right at the bottom. And this one, we'll leave it on incremental, but we're going to put the speed value on zero. So they aren't getting any extra speed, but we want to uh, clamp the maximum speed at, say, 200. And now these particles are not allowed to go faster than 200. But what we're going to do is data map this to our black and white particle value as well. So let's go to the mapping tab, add a color brightness map. We want to map the maximum speed 
And now what this is saying is black particles have a maximum speed of zero, so they'll be static. And as they get lighter, they'll get a larger maximum speed limit until they're white. They've got 200 maximum speed limits that can go a lot quicker. And now when we hit play, you're going to see, yes, look, as they go dark, it looks like they're kind of melting, coagulating, forming these nice big ridges because of the fluid solve. But then as they um, change to white because of the noise, they then melt and carry on moving. So that is the, this is the basis of the whole look. So there's loads of control by adjusting all of the different settings in your modifiers, the strengths and whatnot. But most of the control is within this random field and you can change and have different noise types. For example, if we go to a, let's go to an electric noise type. Now this is going to be cool because look, we get this immediate melting, but then they turn dark and it looks like it's come to a, a standstill. It looks like the sim's finished. But then with patience, look, we're starting to get some white sections animating in, which then starts moving the liquid forward again. Um, and creating these nice bulges so that's a really cool one we could also go to maybe one with a lot of detail displaced Voronoi has a lot of detail yeah so that's really interesting isn't it look at these really big dark ridges and as it animates it changes one more thing for me to show you to get different looks we can adjust our fluid settings of course and one example is look if we add a load of surface tension into this they're going to kind of bead into long kind of bulbous tendrils. Yeah, look, you see the surface tension is encouraging them to stay in these tendrils when they're moving. But then, of course, they're still slowing and, and uh, freezing as they turn darker. But then they kind of go into these cool tendrils once more when that noise animates. So loads of control, loads of things you can do with this cool rig. And it makes this very nice organic looking particle sim.